Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a video on how to profit from Roblox trading. So, if you just wanted to get into trading, you might want to make some profit. Maybe you want to make some money on, on Roblox. I understand the feeling. But, there are a lot of different mistakes that you can make when getting into Roblox trading or becoming a trader or as a trader today. Like, you could have become a Roblox trader a few days ago. Or a few months ago and still be making some mistakes. I'll be teaching you about some of these mistakes and and ways to profit on Roblox from trading. So how do you profit on Roblox from trading? Well in Roblox there are different types of items. There are different like gears, accessories, items of those nature. I will be teaching you about how to profit from uh, trading these items. So let's say you just bought an item. Okay, I'll, I'll take for example one of my items. Um, Sneak Egg of the Clouds. So the wrap is 290 and what you want to be doing with it is you want to find any item that is worth more than it and you want to you want to trade for any item that is a higher uh, wrap than that item. So let's say I trade that scenic egg for let's let's find someone with a pretty small item. Um, okay, so right here, let's say I traded my scenic egg to this guy for his cuddly koala. So I would be making maybe around 50, 50 uh, wrap I'd be getting from that. And it's just a process. So on your first 1,000 wrap, I'm gonna turn the volume down, it's getting kinda of annoying. So on your first 1,000 wrap, you wanna just be trading items until you gain about 1,000 wrap. Or if you wanna keep going from there, but I would stop at about like maybe 3,000. I'd stop at about 3,000. So, you just want to trade for higher wrap items. It doesn't matter about the demand or anything. So once you get to that point where you've reached a thousand, you'll ask, what do I want to do now? Well, here is where it gets interesting. So let's say you have, I'll take for example, some of the items that I may have. So let's say you have um, a chill cap which is 1k and um, I don't have many small items but let's just say a scenic egg also so you have those two items but you don't know what to do next you can either go in two ways you can downgrade the chill cap which is turning one item into multiple items while getting some overpay on it or you could upgrade those two items for an item that is either worth uh, around the same or a bit more. You, you don't really want to lowball yourself when you're upgrading two items. So you found the item that you want, you've upgraded it. You If you're upgrading those items, you want to make sure that you're not overpaying. Or if you're overpaying by a very small amount. The whole name of the game is that you want to, you want to overpay the least amount you can possibly do and make others overpay for your items. So that's basically what you need to do in order to keep trading. I can show you an example of that. So let's say I wanted to I wanted to downgrade one of my bigger items. So let's find a guy. And remember, once you get past a certain stage of your trading of trading wrap, you want to start going for demand items. So, like uh, a goof, for instance, a goof or a chill cap, or uh, a winky face, a wistful wink face. Um, you just want to go for those items. But after that point, you want to start focusing on uh, trading for value items. I won't get into that that much because I've already made a video on that. But if for profiting in general, you just want to follow these two rules. When you downgrade, 
you want to op you want to get as much overpay as you possibly can out of your item and then when you upgrade you want to get the least amount of uh i mean sorry when you upgrade you want to overpay the least amount you possibly can that's the easiest way to profit and you want to know how can i profit as fast as possible well there are some ways that i think are pretty uh pretty uh efficient and that those are you want to make sure that you're always on i'm i'm not even joking if you want to if you want to profit you have to actually put in some work and you have to be a pretty good um a pretty good bargainer so what i mean by that is you have to be good at making deals and a good step to that is you want to speak while using grammar i'm not even kidding so if i were to so this person let's i'll point out what they're going to try and do sin for sea bucket so what item does he have okay so he has um bucket of the sea and he wants my sinister branches they're both equal in rat i mean sorry they're both equal in uh value and demand but one of them is worth a hundred more rat so if they are actually just equal demand and equal value at that point you want to go for rap so i wouldn't actually do this deal as much as they do change i kind of prefer sinister branches but um you, you kind of get the deal overpay the least amount when you're trying to upgrade turning multiple items into one item and then when you downgrade, you want to over, you want to get as much overpay as you possibly can. So, like I was saying, you want to always make sure you use grammar. Okay, so let's say I wanted to trade with this guy. Yeah, he wants to trade with me too. I want to use grammar when I'm talking to him. Is your green bubble trouble for trade? Depends. I want big overpay. See, this is one of the mistakes that people make. They don't use grammar and they don't spell correctly. Like, that... As much as we want to be lazy, if you want to look like a really good trader and uh, a good person to trade with, you want to use grammar and you want to make sure that they understand what you're saying. So I'm trying to tell him that I don't want to overpay that much for his item. So, he's also following the rule. You want a lot of overpay, and you want to have a, a good amount of demand items. I have a lot of demand items, so I'm guessing that's why this guy wants to trade with me. So, he asked me to send him a trade. I'm going to send him a trade and show you what I want to be doing for this trade. So, since his item is worth 24k, I'm gonna send a trade that's worth. I'm gonna say let's 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 send him 24k. I think he's not gonna accept it, but that's the whole point. You want to be grinding. Whenever you trade with people, you want to you want to kind of you want to have to put in the grind to get all these good trades.
Okay. So let's find this, um, this green bubble trouble, and I'm gonna send him an offer that's worth 24k. Okay. So I'm gonna put in a green bandit top hat, another one. So that's 18k, and now I'm missing 6k. So I'm gonna send him 6k. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add a brilliant bombastic. And then I'm gonna add I'm gonna make him add this green ultimate dragon boots. Okay, so that is twenty-four point five. I'm yeah, point five, I'd round that up. And eighteen plus six point five. So that is That's 24.5. Okay, so I'm going to do an equal offer and let's see if he is okay with that. So, yeah, that's my video on how to profit from Roblox trading. If you have any questions, uh, leave it in the comments. And if you want to look out to, uh, if you want to send me a message, um, my profile is Halo Smith, the with an eye. And yeah, that's my video.